Outfield. Here. Outfield's the same thing. We got to move our feet. As soon as the ball gets hit, a lot of times just kind of kind of look at the ball. We don't move our feet, right? We always got to get our feet to go behind the baseball. Why? I mean, moving towards. So we could get through the baseball to throw. Correct. Same thing in the infield, right? That's what we did with the cones and everything. So all we're going to do is throw the ball up. Make sure their footwork's good. Ryan over your left shoulder. Drop step. Get his feet through the ball. His feet never move. Right shoulder. Right? Very simple. See how they kept moving? Subconsciously, they got to get behind the ball. If you tell a kid, hey, you got to get behind the ball, you say, what the hell does that mean? The ball's up in the air. How do I get behind it, right? Get your feet behind the ball so you can get through the ball. This is a good way to help them coach. Now, talent level's a little higher. We throw balls a little further. We play a game at it. Let's see who can get it and so forth. But what you're doing is you're preparing them to utilize their footwork properly. I'm done. Any questions? Do you, Basic do, you, enough? do you do crossovers when you step or do you do like... In the outfield? Yeah. Drop, step, and go. Drop, step, and go. If they catch the ball, pat them on the butt, they'd, good job if they did a crossover. You know what I mean? Yeah. Drop, step, and go. What we want to avoid, ball sit over our left, back pedal, and then go. Right? Soon we want to condition them just like a, a safety or a defensive back. As soon as the ball is hit over my left, I drop step. And then I get around the ball and I can see the ball. That's how you do it a little close, close proximity here. Any other questions? Any other drills? Anything? We got two minutes? One minute? We're done. Was that helpful? Practice plan, right? Rolls. Rolls educate you of what you have. Correct? Building the triangle. You don't have to put cones out. Just put them out in a position with a bucket and make them move their feet. Make sure they're staying low when they're moving. The biggest mistake, you roll a ball or hit the ball and they stand up. They, they run over the ball and they got to get down. Ball's on the ground, stay low, right? So that's what you look at when you're rolling baseball. And then the progression is we back up and roll them harder or we go to the pitcher's mound to the side of the mound and start hitting them, right? And then to the T drill. If they can't do that, we go back to rolling them. You got it, see how the progression works? Outfield, same way. If they can't understand how to get their footwork down in this, in this close area, you got to teach it, you got to keep doing this. Right, then they're going to say, oh, make me dive. Well, do the drop step properly, I'll make you dive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -uh, that's it, go ahead. And you have to catch the grounder? At the, at, at, at this Just get this. Your body. Yeah. Traditionally, Guys come and we want to run in and charge and get our glove hand down and get them and throw it. Maybe you know, at this age, the correct way to use that line, if there's no man on base and the guy hits it, I don't need to come get it, I need to stop it. Right? So there's different ways to talk. Get over here and watch your man on second, I'm not going to stop it, I'm going to throw it out. Right? So, so at this age, we just catch the ball. Keep the ball in front of you, get it into the cutoff man. Make sure the cutoff man has his fingertips up. Right? Do you, do you uh, suggest hitting the cutoff man if, if it's hit directly to a fielder? In other words, he hasn't gone way back to get? Second base. I, I, I want my little guys to get acclimated because, you know, a lot of times we say, hey, throw it to the pitcher, right, because the pitcher stops play, right? They don't do that when they're 14 or 15. They get it to the – and obviously the fields are bigger. Tell them to throw it to the base. If a guy's trying to score, throw his butt out. I mean, have some fun with it, right? No men on. We just want to get the guy – Proper baseball play, base hit to left, no men out. We want to throw the ball to second base. Okay. Okay. Good. Are you the last group or we got one more? Oh, see, I'm talking about repetition, right? 